Welcome to Robert Land. That's right, your favorite not safe for work comedy theme park podcast. And I'm your host, Robert Thompson, comedian, musician, theme park phrenologist, all I do. How's it going, everybody? What's up? Yeah. We got Roscoe oh, Soul Train. Whoa, dude, you totally threw me off there for a second. That was like the reversal. That was like a reverse cowgirl of your introduction. I know. I like to keep things on their toes. You do, and yeah. Things, I mean, yourself, Mr. Roscoe Soul Train. I appreciate the view. Our co host. I'm excited, man. Man, man boy. Man, boy. We're at his domicile. Yeah, again, again. which is lovely. I love it. Uh, can, can the cameras pick up some of the awesome. Decor? I think so, yeah. It's just self. It's all dog shit. It's back yeah, there. Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah. Somewhere. It's here. And, and dude, I, we're, we've got Rockin' Randy Madden in the building. Yeah, baby. Here I am, folks. Wow. Yeah, 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 baby dude. himself. Can you believe it's been a year since I've been on this podcast? That's right, dude. Full it's circle. Unbelievable. So we did, what was the one we did? We did this thing about theme parks. Yeah, okay. man, music, music. Theme park music. Got yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because your last, ep- the, your, the, your first show of all time was at a, a theme park. Yes, my first concert ever was yeah. at a theme park. It yeah. was Chuck Berry, and it was in a bathroom. Wrong. Come on. <laughs> this is, what are you talking about? Anyway, now what are we talking about today? We're talking about bowling. We're going to get right bowling. into it, guys. Bowl, yeah. Bowling alleys. Uh, I've been around a lot longer than you think, Robert. Yeah, that's what a I've lot heard. longer. Oh, yes. Yeah, and we're going to get right into it, man. Uh, before we do, though, uh, we're going to go to my favorite segment, your favorite segment, A Theme, theme Park, park Minute, Minute with Zach Hillman. Enjoy. Enjoy. This is Theme Park Minute with Zach Hillman. Legoland Windsor is by far the largest Legoland, clocking in at five times the size of their next biggest park, putting it somewhere in the range of an average Little League baseball diamond. All kidding aside, the park's castle hotel is massive. It houses 2.1 million bricks and 657 hand-built models. In fact, things are going so well that they offered to make this a sponsored segment, but we felt really bad taking their 10 bucks. (laughs) (laughs) I pissed. I pissed. Only like six days, but yeah, anyway. so good. Oh, I, I pissed all over Robert's shoes underneath the table. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's okay, man. Zach, it's, right. it's, it's, that is that good. amount of laughter, you know, yeah. you got to you got to release something. You know? I know. Well, and it's been tough because after the birth of me and Zach's butt baby, I have had a hard time controlling my bladder. And now that your butt baby, what? Because last time we we talked, their butt baby was in junior high school. No, it's it has nothing it's, to it's, do with late bowling. Teens. Yeah, but this is about our my child. Oh, your butt yeah. baby. My butt okay. baby, yeah. Okay. Who knows, his butt baby may become the next, what's a famous bowler? I don't know. Oh, oh. Uh, Asher? Asher. What's his first name? Belongus, I don't remember, I can't remember. The yeah, guy that taught, Ash Ketchum? The guy that, Pokemon? Pokemon? Look it up. No, 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 there was look it up. the guy that taught, that taught Jeff Bridges how to golf for the Big Lebowski. Oh, yeah. Excuse- golf. His name or bowl. Golf, whatever. Same four letter word. It's Negative. Close enough. Yeah, it's like balls. <laughs> Let's look him up. Uh, it was, uh, the guy was, uh, hang on, So this guy, he was a world famous bowler back in seven. Barry Asher. Barry Asher. Yeah, Barry! Oh, okay. He was like the, the best bowler ever in the 70s, all right? And he, very famous. Very, very so famous. So famous that I. Remembered his name. Yeah, well, Barry <laughs> Asher, it's not that easy to know. Anyway, so he was like the guy in the 70s, the bowling guy. And in the movie The Big Lebowski, he actually taught them how to bowl. And he was in the movie, like in the in the back shots. He was okay. the guy like doing all the strikes. <laughs> and uh, yeah, should I just get into my Dude, whole bowling Absolutely, thing right this, is a, this is a podcast about your feelings and emotions, so fucking get it. Well, okay, so, so I love bowling. I love bowling, and me and my buddy Ross used to go to bowling alleys all Ross. the time. A different Ross? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I always do that. You do, Blair. Well, I didn't want to say his name. Like no, 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 Blair, Blair Russell. Okay, this guy Blair and I used to go bowling, <laughs> and we went to this bowling alley in the valley, and we had which one? Pickwick. I don't remember the name of it. Okay. okay. Oh, was it was it? Um, oh fuck! I, I should have brought my um my Corbin. Was it Corbin Bowl? It wasn't Corbin, but who cares? I, hey, listen. I know I want to get my facts straight. I, I I love I just love it. I I just like to put a, a fucking like a picture in my brain to your story. I get because it. Because let's just say it was Corbin, because Corbin doesn't exist anymore, and it's got one of the best signs, signs of all time. I knew he was gonna say that. Oh yeah. So let's just say Corbin. it was Corbin yeah. Bowl, and we went to the pro shop because. My buddy at the time was he got he wanted a bowling ball. We were bowling so much that we were gonna join a league or we were gonna start a league or whatever. And we were killing it. Like my average was like a two sixty my best 
My best, do you know anything about this? Like 300th yeah, 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 yeah. is great. I don't know so that much. 300th yeah, yeah, the best, yeah. all right? It's like you strike it all the way down. And I think my best ever was like a 286 or some shit like that. Wow, that's fucking killer. Which yeah. was an crazy amazing. So anyway, so long story long, we walk into this pro shop to pick out a bowling ball. And we're looking at the walls and we see all these trophies and all these pictures. And I just had recently watched The Big Lebowski. And I see these photos of the movie and this guy. And I'm like, who is this guy? Lo and behold, it's the guy who's running the pro shop. Barry. Barry Asher, the world famous bowler from the 70s. He's there. Wow. He's in the shop. So he helps my buddy Blair pick out a bowling ball. He helps us drill the holes <laughs> and the whole nine yards. And then he proceeds to go, okay, now that you're, you've picked out your bowling ball, I drilled your holes. Let's go to the lane and let's see what you guys can do. Imagine having a world famous pro bowler standing behind you as you're throwing balls down the lane. That's amazing. That's kind of like if like Michael Jordan helped you pick out Jordans. If <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In, yeah. Locker, like, in a way. I'll show you the Jordans. Mm -hmm. It's and, a trip. And, and, but, I, yeah. and my bowling ball is crazy. It's got it's a two sided bowling ball with Elvis on it, and it's got oh, my name dude. engraved. I wish that you would have found it today. Okay, I don't know where it is. It's been yeah. a long time since I bowled because of the fucking pandemic. We haven't been able to go bowling. Now you can. Now you can. I guess. Yeah. I guess you have to have your own shoes and your own no. dick and your own. No, you know. <laughs> well, okay. Well, no, you can actually lick your palms. Nice. Slab a slab a slab on all the balls. And, and but then you have to wear a mask. You gotta wear a fucking mask. <laughs> As you yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, in California, you do. Everywhere else in the country, they're just like horse shit. Do whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. So so uh, yeah yeah. So Seven it was a nine. crazy experience, and uh, I don't know. Maybe I threw a couple strikes, and the guy gave me a couple tips. And just a tip. <laughs> did you, I was going to say, did you give him a tip? <laughs> no, 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 no. I knew someone was going to say that. So, and, uh, yeah, so I haven't been bowling in a long time, but uh, I have my own bowling ball, my own bowling shoes, my own bowling bag. It's somewhere in the garage. I don't know where the fuck it is. And, uh, yeah, Barry Asher. It was amazing. That's awesome, It was a crazy man. experience, isn't I, it? I don't understand. I, 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 when you told me you are like, oh, I got a ball, I was like, I could see you being, like, a really good bowler for some reason. I'm a pretty good bowler, yeah. yes. Yeah, and the thing about bowling for me, and everyone's like, well, how do you know, and how are you good, and how is this and that? Well, practice makes perfect. One, of, You know, that's everything. But, like, those little lines that are on, those, yeah. those are markers, you know, yeah. obviously. And I know if I hit the second marker to the right... Not the middle one, but the second one. Because you, you bowl righty. Yes, yeah. well, right-handed. Mm -hmm. If I hit that line, boom, I can turn around and go strike. I know it. And I also know when I'm way off. And it's, it's, it's crazy how you, you just kind of develop that, that, that motion. Yeah, yeah. Or instinct. Yeah, 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 yeah. To know, yeah. I mean, that's, dude, that's great. It's Do you funny. know the score of your best bowling game you've ever had? Oh, dude, it's all, it's all a camp because I'm such a casual bowler. Yeah. And I'm like, it's, like, there's been times that I've, like, got a bunch of strikes. I mean, I, I usually. Were you about to say it's all a gamble? Uh, no, 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 no. Well, I was just, well, I yes, I think that. I was speaking, saying that. Speaking of, there is, there is a there's point There's something here. to that as far as a gamble. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So at one point in time in the United States, Bowling was outlawed because the the powers that be were worried about people gambling. gambling. Really? Bowling. Oh, so bowling was outlawed. It was outlawed. That can, and that makes it adds some like extra badassery to bowling. Yeah. You yes. know what I mean? Like it's, it makes it sound dangerous. So you're saying you're just you're just not consistent. Is yeah, yeah. And that's that's mo see bowling is one of those things that it's like most Ameri most people are take it casually. So yeah. someone actually puts the time in and Gets good at it. They, I, it actually, it, I, I yeah, fucked up. It, it wasn't recent. It wasn't recent times that it was that it was banned. It was in the 15th century that it was banned. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So but that, I mean, that shows how old it is, though. You think that that was something that developed in the last? So they're bowling with like what, like uh, they probably uh, actually, medieval weapons. You know, yeah, like, yeah, sounds, yeah. Swords. Yeah. They were bowling with swords and yeah. babies. Yeah. 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 Shrink heads. Yeah. 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 Fucking. Ain't. Yeah. When they were in the uh, the Col Coliseum, you know, oh, yeah, yeah. they would chop someone's head off and just. Bowl with it. So you, you said your best bowling score was a two eighty three, two eighty six, or something like that. Yeah. Do you know your best bowling score? It's probably like one something. What? Uh, yeah, or two, maybe. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I, I've done it just randomly where I, I had a bunch of strikes. There's one right. game that I had, 
and I was kicking ass, and I can never replicate that. Like that's the thing. Yeah. And then I have a cousin that like every other time we've gone bowling, like he'll kill it. It's just yeah. But we're not consistent. We don't show yeah. enough. My my parents were in a league. And I've got a lot of stories uh, with mm. that. Uh, my mom and dad we'd go to Yorba Linda Bowl in Orange County, which is no longer with us. It was such a rad. You would love the signage there. It's, is it's, it gone? It's gone. Fuck. It's like a gas station now, but. I like lost my innocence there, dude. Mm -hmm. I, I used to Love. go around. Uh, I was like in elementary school to high school, I think. Mm -hmm. is, and I'd go with him because it was fun just to go and and I would bowl sometimes. But I would just. I think I was young enough to where I just go and play the arcade and shit. Right. Of course. And, um, yeah, that's so. Yeah, I love arcades and bowling alleys. Yeah. Oh, the dude. food always sucks. But the food, yeah, well, yeah. Well, yeah, it's the part of the experience. Yeah, just shitty anyway, fries. Keep going. Well, I, I, I like. I uh, got exposed to buffalo wings for like the first time there. Oh, and is kid... that is that different than COVID? Uh, yeah, I uh, tested positive for buffalo wings, yeah. dude. Yeah, it's a different strain. They're gonna say <laughs> this is the buffalo strand. Yeah, and, and it was the dude. He did. Look it like... should be a strand. Sorry, the buffalo. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, buffalo is a strain of COVID. They're gonna oh, come dude. up with it yeah. later. Oh. Actually. Oh yeah, there's gonna be a pumpkin spice. Uh, I, I've never, fu I've never been to Buffalo, yeah. but I could imagine Buffalo. I, I don't know. I have these ideas of what Buffalo is in my head. Yeah. I, I but I should. It's a big should Buffalo should wing city, right? It is. Yeah. Like I think the, that's. I mean, they, have, they got the Bills, they got the Sabers, and they got Buffalo. Wings. And they got Buffalo wings. Yeah. So you <laughs> got you got exposed sabers. to Buffalo wings for the first time ever. Yeah. Yeah. You were bowling alley. You were a kid. Yeah. And were so, you like eating the Buffalo wings? <laughs> Well, I'm putting your fingers in the balls. Yes. Oh my and then god! Bowling, I bet you and then, were. <laughs> oh yeah. Dude. As a kid, you don't care. No, dude. I germs do. are, are all in. I mean, yeah. There was a dude there that was older than us, and he kicked ass at Mortal Kombat. And my brother and I like oh. idolized this guy, and it's funny because he was probably like 19, and we were like, you know, kids, like 10. Sick. But we like thought he was the most badass dude. But yeah. he'd be hanging out at bowling alley. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, hey, he's cool in his own right. He kicked ass at Mortal Kombat, but. Yeah. You know, I don't know, but it was funny because my dad, I remember, oh yeah, we got into like The Offspring because he had like the album. Oh. So yeah, they're, they're, they're radical or whatever. And he showed us then, my dad looked over the lyrics and the, he read the breakdown of uh, Bad Habit where it's mm -hmm. like, got a gun in your hand. Yeah. yeah, yeah, tell you the same. It's talking about suicide or like, oh, you know, blow him away. You know that song? Okay. I mean, I, yeah, I've heard of Offspring. Kind of bad habit. Yeah. And it's, it's so funny song, seeing yeah. my dad look at it and go, oh, this is horrible. But, yeah, but he, I literally would, I think I heard him say cunt and dildo at the bowling alley sure. out loud. So my dad was was infamous because he, my dad. So you're is, saying you heard that over the over it, the radio? No, uh, no, no. Or you no. heard your dad saying yeah, yeah. Words. So he was in the league with my mom, yeah. and he would he had a little uh, little problem when still he, does. when he when he still does when when he doesn't do well at games. Oh. So he's into gaming now. He'll play like 15 year olds in Montana oh, and shit. lose his shit when they're like cheating. Like <laughs> that motherfucker shot me. God damn it. Like. He gets he, he makes up words I've never heard like Jesus tap dancing Christ and it'll just you know that Slimer balls yeah yeah just Did recently, Slimer have balls <laughs> yeah <laughs> well, yeah like stuff like that but I, I remember uh, one time he uh, he was losing his shit at the bowling alley and he'd like punch the uh, ball oh. return wow <laughs> oh my god I'll tell you what I'll tell you what speaking about punching the ball return yeah like. Okay, that annoys the shit out of me when your ball doesn't come back in oh, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because bowling is really about like timing, yeah, and it's about a groove, yeah, yeah, yeah. and like let's which is say, very much like what I was saying. Golf is very much the same way. Yeah, yeah, golf. But yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but you know, when it doesn't, when the ball doesn't come back, and the, you know, I'll, I will, I'll get crazy. I'll kick the damn ball return. Or if I don't get a strike, I'll do the same, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's just, oh, I guess it's just for fun. Part, nah, nah, nah. It's part of the, it's part yeah. of the, yeah. the ambiance. But what I like about bowling is, you know, it is one of those things that like brings people together. Like your parents were in a league. Yeah. And like your friends would go bowling and, yep. and whatnot. Like it's a cool place to like come together. Sure, it's yeah. true. Yeah. It's a great place for like anything from a birthday party to a graduate, like just whatever. And I'm gonna say graduation, but it, it what is was a great your place. Best bowling uh, score. One eighty nine. Ross. One eighty nine. One time, and I'm I'm not a very good bowler. Um, for the amount of bowling that I've actually done in my life, which is kind of a lot. Um, when I was in high school, the, the PE program, so the way my high school was set up was you only had three classes a day, yeah. and each class was two hours a piece. Okay. And so, or like an hour and 50 minutes or something, I can't remember, anyway. Um, so what they would do is they would take us to the bowling alley Whoa. and let us bowl for PE. That's what and so, I, yeah, yeah, it was fucking sick. Dude. And so there was this back- Is that close to your school? 
it wasn't that close to our school, but we had enough time oh. to where we could make it happen and bowl for an hour and then come back. So it was, it was fucking perfect. We had to trying to be sly, but yeah. Anyway. We had like um, we had uh, this back parking lot in my high school, and I took PE. I think three out of the I, doesn't look like it, but I took PE three out of the four years when I was in high school. Specifically, like hello. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it looks so we could. There was this, sorry. Anyway, this back parking lot in my high school. <laughs> No one would be back there as far as like faculty or any kind of like watch, like nobody was watching the back parking lot. So I would get fucking stoned, like super stoned every morning before PE class yeah, bro. and then go bowling. Yeah. It was the best. And then this, the, the, um, the diner was open in the bowling alley. Wow. So then we would just order a bunch of shitty food and fucking lick our fingers and stick them back. That's the thing like about bowling that's like really gross yeah. is that those balls, the holes are so fucking Gross. Nasty. Yeah. Well, that's why it's cool to have your own bowling ball. You yes. don't have to worry about any of that shit. You can lick your own fingers and <laughs> stick them up your ass and then put it yeah, in the yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's always fun to have your own bowling ball. Do you know that a weird little fun fact about bowling okay. uh, and bowling balls and speaking of holes, that the maximum amount of holes yeah. that you can have in a bowling ball okay. is 12. Oh, really? For what? I have no idea. Maybe for a uh, reverse like a gang bang. Or, I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that's um, twelve that's holes, and you got yeah. five fingers. Yeah, twelve holes. Yeah. Wait a minute. Twelve. Yeah, holes. only have ten fingers total. Where yeah. the hell are the other two holes? Well, yeah, what else are you gonna stick in there, dude? A couple of your tongue. Your tongue. Yeah. <laughs> <Your tongue. laughs> you know, it's just. Yeah. Silliness, man. Yeah, and, I don't and know bowling what that's... out. It's you know out here on the east side of Los Angeles. There's a bowling alley that oh, many man. people are super familiar yeah, with I'm TV shows. Um, it's the Highland Park Bowling Alley. Oh yeah, they that's renovated famous. it like o only like a couple of years ago. Yeah, it was kind of shitty or so for it, a long time. Right. Well, it was just basically a, it. You know, bowling alleys go way fucking back. I mean, we're talking the first indoor bowling alley in the United States was opened in 1840 in in New York City. Damn. Yeah. So it, it goes yeah. it goes way back. Yeah. So that bowling alley in Highland Park goes way back. It's got to go way back, and they've preserved whatever they could got it. and made it fucking amazing. So it's like a hipster's paradise, and that's why it's used yeah, in a lot I of think film locations. Music there, right? I Sometimes. believe they do. I think there's a venue somewhere that where people can play. I've never I've never actually been in there before. Yeah. There's also another bowling alley out here that's a very small one in La Crescenta on Honolulu. Oh, and, never been, but. Dude, it's fucking, it's, it's picturesque. It's so, it's so cool. And like, I watch a lot of shitty, like 80s movies, yeah, 80s cop movies. I don't know if they're shitty. No, they're, they're bad. Like, I, I love like the oh, worst yeah. 80s cop movies that I can find. Yeah. Especially like Amazon Prime is like a fucking, like a treasure trove of like terrible movies. Oh, and, so are thrift stores. Well, yeah. Oh, they are. Yeah, for <laughs> oh, yeah. sure. Well, it's great because. A lot of these movies were filmed on the east side of Los Angeles. Like, so like Amos and Andy go bowling? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, okay. right. um, but the Locker Center Bowling Alley is in so many fucking 80s, like shitty 80s cop movies. It's awesome. That's great. And it yeah. still, to this day, looks the same. You know what? One thing I got to say about bowling alleys is they renovate bowling alleys very often, but they mm -hmm. never change like the signage, which is great. Oh. But the one thing that I think is absolutely disgusting is they barely well, you'll barely ever see them change out the carpets yeah and the yeah. carpets in bowling alleys are pretty much rad they're all like they it's like the weirdest flattest carpet it's worn the crap it's, it's a casino carpet yeah it's, very, it's that wild Vegas. it's a very yeah. ugly color and then it's just got like Sometimes like bowling designs, or sometimes just these crazy like neon lines in it Ridiculous for no patterns. reason. And you're like, okay. And it's like they can change the uh, the racks, and they can change the lanes, and they can change all of this stuff. But they barely ever change the carpets. And I'm like, oof. That's yeah, little, they're, they're, they're a little rough sometimes. A little funky. It, it, a little rough. Yeah. It's just so fun. I, I wonder when that trend. Because I I know what you're talking right. about. It's like the same. It's like strip clubs. Yeah. In fucking bowling alleys yeah. and and also and, and like casinos, casinos. laser they, tag arenas. Yeah, they, yeah. exactly. <laughs> they have the same fucking carpeting. It's it's so strange, but I wonder when that became like a thing because. I don't know. Well, yeah, because like I look remember. Up. Hey, do we have a specialist who can look these things? That's a, that's a weird. That's a weird specialized thing. Yeah. When did fucking bowling alley carpets get so strange? Um, but 
I, I kind of think that cosmic bowling kind of oh, yeah. made that push over to the weird carpets. Yeah, you know, that's what I that's was... That's right, because of the neon lights, and yeah, they turn the yeah. things, and then the, and the floor would kind of glow with it. Yeah, yeah. well, that's what I wanted to get to, because you, you brought up a good point. Like, bowling is the last... One of those things that like everybody could, uh, the whole community could could go and enjoy, like something we could all do together. Mm -hmm. And I remember the vibe from cosmic bowling to like just regular bowling alley yeah. was totally different. There was like a little bit of like a eh, let loose, let your titties out, let's go cosmic mm -hmm. bowling. You know, there was it was it was a little more like adult. I felt like you know some shit was gonna go down. Babies were gonna be conceived. Oh, yeah. Some some illegal activity. You know, some dope is going to be smoked. Well, you because know. the lights are very, like, it's like black in there. Yeah. And they turn on the neon lights. It's, it's just a rowdier, like, yeah. yeah, there's neon in here. And it was like one of those things where it's like, like, cool people were like, I would never go bowling. And then you're like, you want to go cosmic bowling? They're like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. So they have cool music and it's like dark and it's like fun. EDC for bowling, you yeah. know? Yeah. yeah. And the music yeah. was always like something. <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. So just, yeah, because it's cosmic bowling. It, for those who don't know what cosmic bowling is, it's like neon lights, or not neon lights, black lights. Black lights. Um, and they just crank up the music to ten. Yeah. And it's it is a lot of fun because everybody's getting fucked up. Yeah. Oh. And there's always like. Yeah. I, I always felt when I was younger going to cosmic bowling that there was about to be a, a fucking knife fight that was going to happen. Like in two lanes next to you, like it just always seemed like there's danger fucking oh lurking at all, uh, like fucking right around the corner. Yeah, so a memory. Just do, you have a, do you have a fact? Do I have a fact? No, I was just, I just like looked, I had Cosmic Bowling queued up on this, and, and one of the articles that popped up was an article about Cosmic Bowling from my hometown in July of 1997. Okay. Oh, wow. So, very strange. Yeah, yeah which is funny particular. because I can remember like when all that shit was like, when the when that was like becoming a like it was like oh cool cosmic bowling and we would go all the fucking time all the time it was so fun i love cosmic bowling oh, i just too. remembered this 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 uh situation it's pretty awesome and i gotta tell you guys so there's this um event uh it's it's called uh, uh bowling for ronnie okay and it's uh all these rock stars they come together uh and and it's at lanes in in the in the uh, no pins if you ever heard of a, this bowling alley called Pins, it's in the valley, okay? It's in like, Robert, you're going to love this. Yeah, it's so great. So it's Bowling for bowling for Ronnie and Ronnie James Dio, who was in Rainbow, who yeah. was also in Black Sabbath for a minute and whatnot. Uh, he had cancer, stomach cancer, and passed away. But his wife, Wendy Dio, always has these charity events going on. There's the ride for Ronnie with all the motorcycles, and we all ride together and they go to this thing and have a party. And there's also bowling for Ronnie. And they have, you know, red carpet, and they have the step and repeat, and all the rock stars uh, come to this event, and they get on teams, and they bowl against each other, and they try to win money. I don't know the, 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 where, I don't know the prize. I don't know who gets the prize. Because <laughs> it's like, even though you win, the money goes to the foundation. So it's not like yeah. you're you're bowling for the money. You're bowling for the the pride in a sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is crazy. So I'm talking like crazy rock stars were there, and then I don't remember the comedian. No, I do. Okay, okay. So oh, so Ross gonna jump okay. in. So the so the I'm comedian. friends. I'm friends with like all these people, right? Because yeah. I do hair and stuff with these rockers. Yeah. And I get invited to this event, and I get put on a team with my buddy Gilby. Clark from Guns N' Roses from the 90s. Oh, shit. And who else sure was on our sure. team? Oh, David, Dave Grohl was on the team. Oh, wow. And yeah. uh, we were bowling against, um, uh, what's the what's the comedian guy who was in uh, Tenacious D? Oh, oh Kyle Glass or Jack Black? Jack Black. Okay. So we're, like, he was on the other team, and we were going against him, and he's, he's just jumping all over the place trying to whatever. But I met a comedian, and as I met this comedian guy, I was eating the crappy pizza that was served at the bowling alley, talking about crappy Because the food. pizza was so bad. The pizza was pretty bad. Right? Okay, so the, to Take it right contest, Ross. the com the comedian, oh, that's right. don't don't fucking edit this out. Jeff Ross was the comedian. Okay, okay. So Jeff I, Ross, so, everybody. So I, walk, yeah, yeah. so I walked by <laughs> Jeff Ross, and I and I knew him. At, I knew his name because the face, you know, I don't know. I didn't know his name. The Roast this, Master. Right now at this moment, but he's yeah. the Roast Master, you know. Yeah, he's a so master I, of a lot I of things. literally, <laughs> I... I if anyone knows Randy Madden, like I do all kinds of stuff all the time, 
and I'm always on my Instagram. Yeah. So I and no, well, very little filter. Very filter, no filter of my face. Yeah. All right, or but, my life. But I, I you know, I, I definitely don't Instagram when I'm pooping. That's the only thing. You <laughs> should though. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's, a, there's, a, there's, well. a, there's a market there. Yeah, there is. So Germany. I see, I see Jeff <laughs> Ross. And I'm eating this crappy pizza, and I just put my Instagram on, and I just put it right in his face, and I'm like, yo, Jeff, how about this pizza? And he looks at me like he wanted to kill me. And he didn't say a word. And then I turned the camera off, and I'm like, Ross, like, what's up, dude? Like, why'd you say anything? He's like... I don't know who the hell you are, and why are you putting that camera in my face like that? That's rude as hell. And he starts like kind of like yelling. He was at pissed. Me. From he was not happy at all. And I get it. You know, I didn't. I didn't like. I didn't filter it. I didn't say, "Hey, Jeff, like, I'm friends with Wendy Dio. My name's Randy Madden. Blah blah blah. This pizza sucks." Yeah, but like even then, it's like, "Hey, dude, like, I, I wouldn't. Like, he doesn't want to talk shit. Uh, yeah, he doesn't want to talk shit." Yeah. So he didn't want to be on camera talking shit about the shitty pizza at the ball and, alley because he didn't know if it was like my parents' pizza. Or, he didn't yeah. know if it was like putting down the venue. He didn't. He didn't want to be. But he's the guy that talks shit about everybody. He's the roast master. So I was hoping that he would have done a little bit of a roast about the pizza. He wasn't having it. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. y- y- you know, Randy, you made such an impression on Jeff Ross that when we ran into him yeah. at the comedy store well, one that's night, right. Randy was like. Hey Jeff, I'm the guy with about the pizza and da, da, da. and yeah. Jeff Ross just looked at him. He's like, "Oh yeah, I remember you, dude." Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he was not pleased not with, my, with my candid. But he camera. was he was kind of like what? He shocked. No, when when you said when you like told him, you're like, "Hey, I'm the dude with the pizza." Da, yeah, da, da. He, he was kind of like, "Oh yeah, fucking hey, man, motherfucker." Like yeah. he, he was kind of like, "Dude, what the fuck?" Well, because after I got out of the space and stopped recording, I kind of then I said. Well, I'm Randy Madden, like, I'm bowling tonight, you know, these are my friends, whatever, and he's like, I thought you, like, I don't know, I thought you were trying to catch me on something, or, you yeah, know, yeah. You know catch him off guard and have him say something bad yeah. about the venue, or the right, right. Like, he and, wasn't going to put himself in that position. And you can, you can understand, because, like, if, let's just say I just did that to you, yeah, yeah. and I was like, hey, Randy, this pizza fucking sucks, bro, like, and you didn't know me, Yeah. this pizza fucking sucks, bro, what do you got to say? You'd be like... Eat shit, bro. Fuck off. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. anyway, bowling for Ronnie is awesome. It's a great event, and they raise a lot of money for cancer and stuff. And all these rockers come out, and it was a great time. So that was another bowling story. Was, I love it. That's a great. That's, that's a great. A, that's a. Fucking I, I fucking story. forgot. I forgot about that story yeah, too. Yeah, and I, I totally remember you telling this story. And then when we fucking ran into Jeff Ross, oh I was like, oh fuck. And you're like, hey. And I'm like, Shh. and yeah. And uh, so Dave Grohl is great. You know, he's always a good guy and then I bumped into him again when he because he's really into uh, barbecuing yeah you know I don't know if you know that yeah yeah so when he broke his leg and he was kind of on that throne or whatever you know the big throne he was sitting on when he was doing his concerts and he gave it to Axel right eventually yeah, yeah, yeah actually yeah that's a great yeah he gave yeah. it to Axel Rose when okay. Axel broke his leg so uh, I met him at Wendy Dio's house when she was doing another fundraiser for cancer Cancer isn't funny, so I don't know why I'm laughing. <laughs> it's, it's every time I'm bumping into this guy, it's like at a fundraiser for Ronnie James Dio. And he was the, uh, what do they call that? The pitmaster. Oh, Dave Grohl was. Dave Grohl yeah. was the oh, pitmaster. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. here, the little short story is, when Dave broke his leg, his band was like, dude, you gotta like pick up another hobby. So they gave him like a little tiny like... Uh, smoker? Smoker, yeah. And then it got bigger, it got bigger, and now it's like huge and he has to tow it around with him. And, and now he's just taking people to Flavortown. He actually turned into Guy Fieri. It's the weirdest thing. It's like, whoa. Kind of. In a yeah. way, yeah. Yeah, he kind of did. But he'll, like, pull up at, like... Uh, Cut his hair right? short, bleached it. Grew a fucking <laughs> goatee out. Fucking. Oh, he would pull up at, like, restaurants randomly, and he was, like, helping the firefighters when all the fires were going out here. Oh, shit. That's he Which, awesome. giving the barbecue. A lot of people were, like, giving the Guy Fieri a lot of shit for that because he was showing up to fire, like, the, the fires with a smoker. And they were like, dude, Guy Fieri f- was doing that? Yeah, he was doing it like all over so. up north. You know? He showed like a blowtorch, like, like a, he had like pirate <laughs> <bear>. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. so that was another bowling story. That's so a there great you story. Go. That's, That's a great crazy. story. Yeah. And, yeah I think and, and my team, I, my team won, yeah, for sure. Hey, where do you guys so. think that the biggest bowling alley in the world is? Biggest? What do you mean, like most lanes? The most lanes. Ooh, in the world? In the world. Where would you think it, it would Canada. be? Canada, huh? What about yeah. you, Robert? Yeah, Where do you bowling, think? Uh, I, 
I, I'd say somewhere where there isn't a lot going on, you know? Like, it's got to be in, like... You're both, We're not going to give you the answer, so comment fine. below. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. actually, I'll give you the answer. Thanks. Fuck the comments. <laughs> um, it's Japan. There's a hundred. There's a hundred sixteen lane bowling alley in Japan. And do you know where? Do you know how big the bo- the biggest bowling alley in the United States is? Where the biggest bowling alley in the how United States? How big and where? Oh man, I don't know. Let's just say New Jersey. Yeah. Well, I mean, kind of. Let's no, say Jersey. Isn't, but... Let's say Jersey, and it's uh, you know hundred lanes. Who knows? Close. Close. All right. Damn. Hundred. Yeah. Wow. It's. Uh, no, sorry. What, what is it? Oh, it's uh, it's in Michigan, and it's ninety lanes. I would have not expected oh. that. I would expect that the biggest bowling alley in the United States be, to be in Vegas. Oh. You know. Yeah. Because there, there's a bowling coliseum, or not a coliseum, but yeah, yeah. Like there's bowling's like bowling like stadium in Vegas, and I think that's where they shot Kingpin. Oh my god! I got another story. So, yeah, so my what, parents would go at I'll the end of their tournament. Down. They would go, or they had a tournament for their league, and it was mm-hmm. always in Vegas. So we yeah. always got like a trip out of it. We'd stay like the Gold Oh, Coast. actually, I take that back. It's not in Vegas. It's in Reno. Oh, yeah, which oh, is that not in Vegas. It's a the yeah, bowling yeah. stadium in Reno. The largest bowling center is in the in, is in the, is in uh, Las Vegas. And uh, yes, there's a bowling stadium in Reno, which I I do what the believe hell is a bowling stadium. Well, they have like stadium seating for like bowling, so you got, like nosebleeds bleeds and stuff. For, like, yeah, the, yeah the exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I, I I do think I do think if I if I stand corrected, that's, that's where they filmed Kingpin. Oh, was in, I think it was in Reno, right? I dude, I, that sounds so familiar. I, I the think Fairly so. Brothers are huge on like. Rhode Island, and that sounds like yeah. a place that has. How bowling, many, right? Robert, Do you know this? How many bowling movies have there been? Yeah, it's in Reno. There, it, it was in Reno. I mean, we just named like three. There's probably like a good twenty. I don't know. Really? I think so. I think like in the seventies, they probably had some that we don't even know. You know, I don't. I know. wonder how many bowling movies there have been. I mean, we know about the Big Lebowski, of course. Yeah, and Kingpin. Kingpin. And Kingpin. Um, but that's like, all I can think that's of. That's all I can think of. Is like an Airbud? Ross is gonna go. He's gonna <laughs> look Air, up. Yeah, yeah. Airbuddy's bowling. I don't know. There's, yeah. a, there's a one. There's another story that I want to tell about bowling, and I try to make it brief as possible. So I used to work at the Hard Rock Cafe. Hard Rock you used to yeah, cock it over there. over there, and there was. <laughs> There was this uh, buddy that I used to work with, and his stepdad is Chuck Wright, the bass player of Quiet Riot. Oh, nice. And he, quiet, uh, Chuck Wright was uh, doing an all-star jam situation of, like, the drummer from Whitesnake and the singer from... Rat. Whatever, Rat, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. And they would just... Stephen kinda, Piercy. Exactly. Yeah. And they would do this thing at this club. Well, for some reason, and I know why, uh, but I won't say why, Chuck didn't want to do it there anymore, so he's looking for a new venue. Well, his stepson and I worked together at the Hard Rock, and we knew about Lucky Strike, because we knew that they had a stage and uh, a bowling alley and all this kind of stuff. So he brought Chuck Wright over there and said, what about this? And they started in, like a, it's called a, the Ultimate Jam Night at the bowling alley at Lucky Strike in Hollywood. And I, I guess I must say, you know, I had a little part up in that to get that kind of rolling and it was rad I mean there were so many cool ple- people that were there and, and the coolest story is this so m- imagine that like a small stage all these like rockers getting up there and doing their thing like Michael Jackson's drummer um, uh, uh, J- uh, Jason Bonham who's John Bonham's yeah, yeah. son so I play harmonica a little bit and they were going to do when the levee breaks and my buddy Gilby Clark was like well I know a guy who can play harmonica So I get on stage and I'm playing harmonica and I hear this drum beat and I'm like, dude, this guy is killing it. And they usually have like uh, the the drummer from uh, Stephen Piercy usually does it. Um, Glenn Sobel, uh, who's the Alice Cooper's drummer and all these other drummers. So I just thought it was one of the house guys. I look behind me and it's Jason Bonham, John Bonham's son on the drums doing When the Levee Breaks. I couldn't believe it. So I played the harmonica for that song, and that was a pretty rad moment. But imagine like all these rock stars in this thing. Last last little piece of the story was they were gonna have um, the original band from Eat 'Em and Smile, which is David Lee Roth. It was David Lee Roth. It was Steve Vai, and it was that crazy bass player guy. I don't know what his name is, but the guy with the blonde hair, something she- Sheeran or something. Oh, oh, uh, Sheehan. Yeah, yeah. No, Sheehan. it was uh, Billy Sheehan. Billy Sheehan. Again. Yeah. Okay. Fam- very famous uh, Scientologist, by the way. Okay. Oh, really? Also of Mr. Big fame. 
Oh, oh Mr. Big, Mr. Big. Mr. Big. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. so these guys, Eric Martin, EMB, and David Lee Roth is the lead singer of the Shalom. band. Boom. So they were gonna play for the first time in like 30 years together at Lucky Strike, and that place could only hold up to like let's just say 600 people or something like that capacity. Well, people were sneaking in the back. People were sneaking in everywhere, and there was like. I don't know, 1,100 people in the place. It was a fire hazard. So the right before that band was going to play at Lucky Strike Bowl, Ultimate Jam Night, the fire marshal came in and shut it down. David Lee Roth was in the back. He was, he was ready to go. He was ready to sing with his old band. It was going to happen. They pleaded, they begged for people to leave. Get out of here. We need space. This is a fire. And it didn't happen. And it still hasn't happened to this day. Fuck. Wow. What, what year did the, that jam set, that whole thing take place? Oh, it was like, you know, like maybe four years ago or something like that. Damn. So you, you told me about this. Yeah. Was it like an, did they do it again or try to do it again after that? Never. They oh, never man. were able to make it happen again. That's, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Hey, yeah. getting back to, we were talking about bowling movies. Right. Actually, the, there's two things I wanted to touch on before we wrap this fucker up. There you go. Um, Speaking of concerts at bowling alleys and that whole thing, mm-hmm. well, it's kind of like a concert series and a bowling tournament. We didn't even talk about punk rock bowling in Vegas. That's right. Yeah, that's, that's a like big, a big fucking deal. Big, big deal. Yeah. yeah people yeah. have been going to that shit for years. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so, you guys talk about it because I have no idea. I've never yeah. been. <laughs> but like every like punk rocker that I know, even like like our pop punker that I know, they've all everybody goes. It's like this weird pilgrimage to Vegas for punk rock bowling. Yeah, the lineups are pretty nuts. And uh, they, I mean, they've been consistent for a while. Like, yeah. It's been, what, like 15 years? At, at least. least. At yeah. least. Because it's been going, I've, I remember hearing about this years ago. And like, are they still doing it? They're still doing well, it. Like they, fat, they did it last year. Fat Mike from NoFX yeah. had this controversial, the country, because there was a shooting in Vegas. And he oh, called, right. Yeah, oh. I mean, it's a joke. Yeah, yeah like but, the, this last year, which was September 24th, 25th, and 26th, it was headlined by The Descendants, Circle Jerks, Devo, um, Streetlight Manifesto, uh, let's see, Leftover Crack, Murder City Devils, Dillinger 4, Youth Brigade, All, Good Riddance. I mean, fuck, dude. Like, there is some fucking... The big, Darts, yeah, dude. Yeah, Babe Patrol, Anti-Flag, Youth of Today, yeah. Municipal Ways, The Queers, Agrolites. I fucking love the Agrolites. You know who those guys are? Yeah, yeah. They're fucking great. English Beat was there, awesome. The Dwarves, The Bronx. Um, yeah, it was a fucking... Who else was there? Man, Dude, Ross crazy. loves his punk, man. There was one time we were at the thrift store, and we went to the CD section, and he almost cried. Uh, no, I don't like punk. I'm not a, I'm not a punk guy. Ska. Ska. I like pop punk. Uh, yeah. Like, I, I I like pop punk. I have a hard pop time... Pop like, no effects? No, I don't like no effects. I don't like no effects for a couple of reasons, um, but... I don't, I, I, and I, yeah. and I, I have a hard time with punkers okay, because. Sorry, let's go back. Ska, I, re, I, I am re, a. I regress. I am a we're ska at the thrift fan. store, and it was like ska heaven for this guy. He was like, on oh the floor. my god, like we, I came across a lick of all this '90s, '80s and '90s ska, like CDs. He was and crying. I fucking yeah. shit myself. Yeah. I bought everything. <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah. There was stuff that was in there that I hadn't even seen before. It was like that rare. I'm like, wow. Yeah, it was. It was awesome. All right. So anyway. Robert, what do you want? Oh no, want well, about- we we're talking about the be- the best bowling movies. Yeah, or the, yeah, the right. yeah So I don't have a list. I don't have a list of how many bowling movies there have been in in all of time. But I do have a list of the quote unquote best bowling movies of all time. Got it. And Let's the number it. one is a nineteen seventy nine film called Dreamer, featuring yes, exactly. I knew it was yeah, something we've never heard of. Yeah, with Tim Mathers Matheson. Uh, Susan Blakely and Jack Warden. I think Jack Warden was the dad in Problem Child, or the grandpa in Problem yes, Child. Yes, yes, yeah, that's and right. I yep. believe that Tim Matheson was Shooter McGavin from uh, from uh, Shabba Shabba. Yeah. No, it's not. It was Tim Matheson is the fucking the teacher from Breakfast Club. You know? Oh, okay. He's like, you got what did he was like? You got three. Yep. Three weeks. Yeah, yeah. I have you by the balls. Um, so the number two movie is Kingpin. Another movie from 1934 called Strikes and Spares. Whoa. Uh, yeah, that's an old one. Another one is Life in the Bowling Lane. Oh, fucking A, man. It's from 2005. It's a short comedy, I guess. 
uh, The Big Lebowski's on there. Ooh, here's a good one. Never seen this, but I f- I'm now I'm gonna watch oh, it. Oh boy. Sorority Babes in the Slime Ball Bolorama. That is amazing. From 1988. Awesome. Yeah. Oh yeah, we'll get a screenshot of that. Oh yeah. god, I love it. It looks <laughs> great. That's something um, a winner, dude. I love oh, it. Oh wait, a, a Tom and Jerry short, uh, The Bowling Alley Cat. Uh, here's another one called Alley Cat Strike. Uh, looks like from 2000. From 2000, yeah. Another TV is a TV mo- movie. Uh, Gutter Balls from 2008. It's a comedy horror sport film. You want to see that? <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Oh, and here's another one. Adam, the Amazing Zombie Killer. Okay. In 2012. Yep. Okay. Well, those are. He's a, a zombie film? killer. Yeah, he's he's got a horny girlfriend, and he's the best bowler in the league. Wow. <laughs> sounds like that a sounds good like me. time. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe they knew you. You know, maybe that was maybe you inspired this film. You uh, know, maybe with my Elvis bowling ball and my <laughs> crazy two eighty three or whatever the hell score I got. That Dude, that is that is impressive, man. Yeah. I got to the last. So at the last frame, you have a a, a spot that basically. So there's obviously one to ten. If anyone knows anything about bowling, so there's uh, ten. What do you call it? Frames. Frames. There you go. Yeah. So there's ten frames, but at the tenth frame, you have a chance to actually get to the thirteenth frame. Yeah, because you can bowl. If you bowl two strikes, you get to the thirteenth. So I got a strike on the first, and then I got, I don't know, I I bumped it, and then I was able, and then I, I think I fucked it up again or some shit like that. So I mean, it was that close. Wow. That close. Dude, that's. So you haven't been bowling since the Pandemskis. No. Since when? The, the pandemic. Pandem- pandem- no, I have not. Pandemskis. No, I mean, yeah. I can't even find a damn bowling ball. The Polish version. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Pandemskis. <laughs> so, no, I haven't been bowling since. But now that this podcast is out, and that I really appreciate you guys having me on again after a year. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, dude, don't wait too damn long to get yeah. me on the next one, unless I'm talking too much. And no, you're no not this is great. You love, love your anecdotes. anecdotes. And uh, yeah, and then uh, now it might have inspired me to get my dust off my bowling well, shoes. I mean, shit, bro. Like, we live in an area that has some of the best bowling alleys in America. Yeah. We do. There's the a, Highland Bowl is right here. The Highland Park Bowl, you mentioned pins. Pins is so, great. I, Cause I got a list right here of the best bowling alleys in the country. Are you going for it? You let's fucking do it. Bl- it's the, 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 yeah, fucking, let's, let's go. Give it to Robert. Opened let's in 1941. Have him do it. You wanna do it? Yeah, yeah I'll have do, him it. do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. here you go. Opened in 19, I'll just start the first one off. Opened in 1941, the Rockin' Bowl, and it's in, uh, Seven Legas and Seven Do. Simi Valley? I don't know. No. <laughs> that's fucking everything. It's a fucking goddamn piece of shit, asshole, fucking something, bitch. Anyway. We're going to end that one out. Let's keep going. Here you <laughs> it's go. my favorite bowling alley. Uh, let's yeah. see. Keep, you got to scroll. scroll through, Daddy. Okay. Let's see. You got to scroll Use through. Use your finger. Yeah, I'm uh, going to go up and down. Okay. Um, God, dude. You want me to just do it? Yeah. No, this, why? This, you got it, Robert. Got it? Come on, man. Bottom line. Okay, wait, wait. Okay. Where do you scroll? No, it's fine. I'll just do it. Okay. You just use your fingers. All right. Yeah, just go up and down. Fast as you can. <laughs> oh, got it. Hold on. Hard and, hard and strong. Give it to me. Dude, I haven't used a laptop since the 90s. Uh, let's see. Yeah. yeah I'm telling you. Got you. You got it? Okay. Pressure's on. All right. Opened in 19. No, no. Fuck all that. Yeah, fuck all that. We already talked about that one. The bottom line, as much as a music venue. No, 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 it's too much. Because there's there's a ton of them on there. So just let's just talk about for our listeners all throughout the country, because we got them all. We're getting we're up there in the tens. Just scroll through the ones. Yeah, let's just yeah, just say just say where they're at and what they're called, because you never know. We could have a we could have a a guy that gets interested in bowling tomorrow and says, "Fuck, man, I live out here in New Jersey." Right. And then we mention a crazy ass bowling alley in New Jersey. Yeah. And they go, fucking A, like, I've now discovered my passion in life because of Randy fucking Madden. Oh, maybe. Yeah, baby. Here he goes. So the good night in Austin, Texas. Okay, I like keep it. Keep going. We're, we're in Austin, good night. Yeah, the good night in Austin, Texas. Okay. What, what else, else you we got? got? <laughs> um, it's, to, it's not doing it. No, just <laughs> fuck it. It's, 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 here. I, yeah. Okay. It's, it good night. Scrolling. It's not It's not working? Hold on. No, it's not scrolling. Holy shit, what happened? JB's on 41 in Milwaukee. Milwaukee. It was opened in 1950, but it was renovated in 2012. You're, wow. You're figuring it. Yeah, that's fine. The alley in Charleston, South Carolina. They, I heard they have an issue with the bathrooms in South Carolina. Okay. Yeah, oh. Thank in, you. In 2012. Um, the Brooklyn Bowl in Brooklyn, of all places. Ooh. And it looks like at the Brooklyn Bowl, there's a stage in there, too. Damn. Kind of like, yeah, it looks like it a looks fucking like sick. It, that's fucking sick. But that's amazing. 2009, baby. Pins. 
Boom. Boom. With a Z. The Penn's Bowling Center. That's, in that's LA, LA, baby. Oh, cool, yep. cool. Fucking 32 lanes, and it was built in 1957. Fuck yeah, dude. It's, uh... Oh, th- there's also a bowling alley called The Garage. Oh. The Garage in Seattle. And, uh, I think now it's a, a, a Bolero. Oh, which we yes. talked about. Yeah. Or we uh, haven't talked about, but we, we mentioned it earlier. Yeah, yeah. The Bolero. There's the Red Rock Lanes in Vegas. Cool. Uptown Alley in Sunrise... Surprise. Wow, not Sunrise. Surprise, Arizona. Uptown Alley. Uptown Alley, yeah. Fucking A. Uh, shenanigans with a Z in Ooh. Rockwall, Texas. Ooh, there's Fucking a lot right. of aliens there. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of them. There's the Flaherty's. <laughs> Flaherty's Arden Bowl in St. Paul, Minneapolis. And guess what the color scheme is? Come on, you Purple. know it. Purple. Yes! Yes, <laughs> Prince, dude. I know what's yeah, up. Yeah, dude. Fuck oh, yeah. Yeah. See, I got Purple that. Rain, baby. Ooh. Here the, it is. And we talked about it. The Highland Park Bowl in L.A. Oh, Right shit. down the fucking way, brother. Highland Park Bowl. That play, I, I, we got to go there. It is amazing in there. The Highland Park Bowl? Oh, my God. 1927 yeah. is when it opened. So yeah. amazing. They, the racks are... You know how sometimes when, you're, when, when you go to a bowling alley and you throw the ball down the lane... And the fucking uh, the pin, the little cat grabber, grabber, grabber yeah. Thing. Okay. yeah. And, and like it's kind of behind a wall, and you can't really see how they're setting up the pins. Well, at the Highland Park Bowl, it's like everything is open and mechanical, and you see the grabbers like picking up the pins, whoa, and like setting them back up. Yeah, and yeah, it, yeah. it's like so rad. That's so cool. Yeah. Uh, there's a, there's the Silver Dollar Saloon in. Phillipsburg, Montana. Oh what, God, dude? Silver Dollar. That's where Ryan put on shows. But Ilmani. Really? Uh, uh, oh yeah, yeah, Ilmani. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The yeah. bar. I dropped him off there once. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. That you just said that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyways, but so that, oh, where's that? That's in Montana. Yeah, fuck yeah, man. There's only a few more. Action and Atomic Duck Pen Bowl in Indianapolis. Hmm. It was opened in 28, but it was closed in 1957, and then it was restored and reopened in 1993. Fucking ain't right. All right. Wow, I sat there for like 30 years. Yes. Yep. Oh, here we go. Jersey. Jersey, baby. 30 strikes in Stratford, New Jersey. So for oh, the... how many lanes there are. There oh. are 80 lanes. Oh, why is it called 30 yeah. strikes? Maybe it's started as, as 30. Yeah. It was opened in 1959. Else. There's also, what we talked about in, in the movie Kingpin, the National Bowling Stadium in Reno. Hmm. There's the Thunder Bowl Lanes in Allen Park, Michigan. I love that. Yeah. Opened in 62. That was the one I talked about that was 90 lanes. And look at the carpet. It's, for those that are listening or watching, the carpets are fucking ridiculous. Like, re- like yes. polka dots. Like yeah, Saturn, fucking polka moons dot. and stars. Ridiculous. Holler House in Milwaukee. Wow, this place looks amazing. Mm. Very small. It was opened in 08. Uh, 1908. 1908. Yep, yeah. 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 that's good. Yeah, yeah. 1908. Uh, yeah. Yeah, baby. Wild. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Are you going to keep going? It's the oldest certified bowling alley in the United States. Okay. There's wow. the Stardust Bowl in Addison, Illinois. Yeah. Opened in 1960. The Saratoga Lanes in Maplewood, Missouri. Opened in 1960. What is this list? The best bowling Best bowling alleys, alleys in America. Yeah. Is, this new, is this numerical? Like, is this one? No, it's yeah. just like, this oh, is like, this yeah. Suggestions yeah. of yeah. these. Are, Roll yeah. House Wickliffe. Or Wickliffe? Or Wickliffe? In Wycliffe, Ohio, and uh, Kingpins in Beaverton, Oregon, Timber Lanes in Chicago, X Lanes in Los Angeles. Where the fuck is that? What the hell is X Lanes? That looks I don't fucking know. Hell. 16 state of the art LED lanes, along with arcade and billiard tables, and spread over 50,000 square feet. Where the hell is it? Fucking never. I did, but it looks beautiful. Amazing. I love it. We should go. Bryant Lane Bowl. Minneapolis. Bryant Lake Bowl in Minneapolis. That looks like uh, 1936. That's it. That's the oh, fucking so list right man. there. Wow. Real quick question. Do you know about the bowling alley that's inside of the uh, Roosevelt Hotel in Hollywood? No. no. What about it? What? No. Okay, so there's this private... Well, first of all, in Las Vegas, there are... I don't know which casino it is, but there's like a uh, private suite and they have a bowling alley at it. Yeah. And I, some, I, some famous person or something put in a bowling lane in a hotel room because that's what he wanted and they made it happen and they kept it and they kept okay, it why not? you can still rent out that suite and have the bowling lane sick but at the Roosevelt Hotel I think it's three lanes it's at a bar it's really small and you can bowl inside the Roosevelt Hotel that's wow. pretty cool that's, dude that's so cool at, at, I, yeah. I had no idea yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty rad yeah so to close this episode off I think that we should talk about the future of bowling alleys and Lately, we've been seeing like this weird hybrid 
situation going on. Like, um, like you were talking about Bolero. Well, yeah, you know, it's funny because for years in my hometown, there was supposed to be a bowling alley for forever. Mm -hmm. And they promised it for forever. Growing up, we would have killed for that. And then it, it opened, of course, in my 20s, yeah. you know. And, um, Still cool. Yeah, yeah. And so that one is, I think they were going for like a hybrid type thing where it's like a restaurant. Right. It's, uh, they, they have, they have uh, live, they had live music there for a long mm -hmm. time, all that stuff. So we're seeing all these hybrids. Yeah. Like we're talking about, so there's, there's round one. Round which one, is, which is a Japanese chain that moved over here, which is kind of like, it's almost like a Dave and Buster's meets a bowling alley and a billiard place. Yeah. And then they have like the they have the queue the the like photos the photo booths and stuff, so you got all sorts of shit. But uh, Bolero is like that's a chain now. Yeah, and it's a, it's in malls, but they have like a classic car inside, mm -hmm. and uh, they've got it's a restaurant bowling alley. Right, but the food's supposed to be like really good. Like Splitsville, I guess, is another one. At Splitsville, Disneyland. yeah, at, at Disneyland at, or at, downtown uh, Disney, which that replaced. House of Blues. Yeah. So I already am kind of biased, like, yeah. but it was still, it's there. I've been wanting to check it out, though. I think it looks I, nice. I think I booked a dinner reservation there. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. When I go to Disneyland in March. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, damn. Then that'll be something to you come back. Disneyland set up for March. Oh, my God, dude. Like, this is a whole different tangent and different podcast, but yeah. you have to book reservations for Disneyland. Now? Yes, to get in any time. It's insane. But... Yeah. Beyond that, beyond that, yeah. you have to book all of your eating reservations. Why? So if you want to eat at a restaurant at Disneyland, like if you want to have halfway decent food, you have to book a reservation to eat. Because sometimes, now what that does is it creates a weird artificial... Hold on, I don't understand. Is this because of the pandemic? I think it was, everything... It was. Yeah, it I was. Think every... I don't know why it's still implemented Well, that it's way. because... They want to. They they're trying to maximize profits as much as possible. Okay. So they want to understand where they're where they can skimp out on labor at at, at any turn. Gee. So they're it, what that does is it creates an artificial demand for all of the t like the the quick service dining. So what happens is is now that there's no dining reservations, all the quick service places get fucking bogged down. So finding a table at all the quick service restaurants at Disneyland is a fucking pain in the balls. Dude, yeah. It, We're it's, talking about like uh, Disney. Oh, is that what yeah, at Disneyland by the Pirates of the Caribbean, yes. there's that uh, uh, soup shed. Yeah, the soup. Yeah. The, yeah. So you basically can't sit down there. It's Good luck. Got it. Yeah, I mean sometimes you can get lucky, but can I still get my gumbo bowl? You can, but like you're gonna have to eat it on a trash can. I got it. Yeah. So well, at least at least Walt Disney, what he did was he actually walked around the park with a hot dog. Yeah. And he counted how many steps this? it would take for him to finish the hot dog <laughs> before he had to throw out his wrapper or his oh, napkin. Sure. Yeah. And that's how he measured how many trash cans or how long, how the separated spacing. the spacing between trash cans. Yeah. He literally went to his park, walked around with a hot dog, ate it, and goes, okay, I started here, I ended up eating my hot dog here, I need to throw out my garbage, I need a trash can right here. And then that's how he spaced out every trash can around the park. He did yeah. the same thing with bathrooms, too. That's crazy. I know this is weird. My dad, my dad what? told really? me. Really? How long have you peed? My dad actually told me that uh, those old uh, porno theaters... They oh, had all the trash cans in there because <laughs> you know, to see where you can throw like the, the tiki theater yeah, in the, Hollywood the uh, yeah. tissues. It, it, there was a Walt Disney of porno theaters. He made he would yeah. spank it, and every time he that's why Fred Willard <laughs> was in there because he was. <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh yeah. my God! Wow. Hey, Fred I don't blame him. He's having a good time, man. He's living life. No, he's yeah. not living life. Well, he's Fred, dead. Fred that's Willard's right. Dead, yeah. Okay. Well, well, he's dead. But yeah, unfortunately, that's on great. On that note, we got a great. Oh yeah, look at that. We got a fucking blower sucking around. Yeah, my name's Randy Madden. Randy Find Madden, Find me on everybody. the gram at Randy Madden. Yeah, baby. Find him on TikTok at Randy in the Wild or on my TikTok, which is Roscoe Soul Train, because right. that's hey, all I post. You guys do uh, fantastic videos on YouTube. That's all right. I've been able to you know, be in a couple of them, but yeah. the energy with you guys, is, <laughs> there's a lot of charisma there, you know? And <laughs> Thank you. I'm a big fan. Randy you know? might get a job because of his charisma. That's right. We yeah. just went to a uh, Ontario Reigns game, and I was just being myself, and they... Almost gave me a job. We'll see. I'm in the process, so we'll see. Dude, yeah, well, I'm hoping you can come back and we can talk about mascots someday. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, we, we, oh, oh, we're not a mascot, but, uh, No, you know, we, we got to do a mascot. We have to do we a mascot, mascot, mascot episode, episode. So, yeah. But oh, we'll talk about it. We'll still, we'd have you on that one. That again. sounds great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, it's, it's, it's in the realm of amusement. Yes, yeah, so, oh, yeah. totally. Big time, so yeah. love it, love so it. So this is the Robert Land 
Podcast. Yes, Robert Land Podcast. You can follow us at Robert Land Podcast yeah. on all uh, social media. Say so. it right there to the camera. Yeah. Yeah. Thank sure you, enough. beautiful people, for following the podcast. It's great. It makes my heart come, you know? Yeah. But, uh, man, uh, life is a ride, and I want to ride it all night long. Right. <laughs> Bye-bye. So long, folks. Yeah. Woo!